What is up, guys? It is Uncle Bob. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for hanging out with me. Pull up a chair. Pull up whatever else you need to chill out. And let's go. I'm doing a little bit of, uh... I'm partaking in a little bit of chilling out myself. But yeah, we are here for what looks like a boss battle. And I kind of forget why we're here. I know we're in the living tree thing. But, um... Yeah, I'm not really too sure, but there's a bad guy at the end of this, and we're probably going to kick his ass. So, let's see how well this goes. I'm going to be sniffling a whole lot today, unfortunately. My allergy, my allergy, my allergies are going fucking bananas right now. <coughs> I'm in my garage playing right now, just chilling. But a bunch of, uh, our lawn got mowed and so did the neighbors. And, ooh, that grass is killing me today. So, we took some allergy meds, but, you know, it's going to take a little while to kick in. Hein, magnificent, how lovely this power of darkness is. You cannot comprehend its splendor. With this power, I have mobilized a living tree, collected an army, and now I shall become the ruler of this world. You cannot stop me. Perish. Oh, yeah. This is what we were supposed to do. Right? Damn, I was supposed to do the other one, I think. Scan, let's not do that. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know if it's only going to wear... Fuck. This makes everything so much harder. I forgot. I don't have a black mage. Like an idiot. Yeah, throw punches. Okay. Thunder it is, thunder it is, thunder it is. I don't have to heal up this turn? That's nice. That's pretty spooky. Oh. Is your nose running? You better go catch it. That's exactly how we're feeling right now. Why are we missing this boss so much? Wow. I didn't know you could do that mid fucking turn. Okay. Oh. 
I'm not gonna lie. I'm I just completely forgot what it said. Okay, we're gonna do an, we're just gonna do a couple of cures this round. Scan again. Okay, weak first fire. Bro. This is actual fucking ass. Bro. Bro, what is going on with my fucking accuracy, bro? Why are you missing so much? Okay, well now we can only do fire or thunder damage. So you better have as much fun fucking changing your shit around like you did before. Fuck. I'd, I th oh wait, I think it said change is weakness. I don't think it said what it was. See, he's not doing, like, super heavy damage on me, though. Bro, Lunith, I... Holy shit, Jesus Christ. Boss was both harder and easier than he needed to be. A voice from the walls. Thank you, warriors. What was that? I am the eldest tree of the living forest. I was put under a curse by Heim, but thanks to you, the curse has been lifted. Thank you, Light Warriors. Now let us take Heinz captives. Cool. Thank you. All right, let's go home. It's a bit shaky, but please be patient. Oh, dude, what the fuck? We're gonna fucking die in this fucking tree. We've arrived. Everyone get off now. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. This is looking like the first one. The first Final Fantasy with the elders, sages, wise men, whatever the fuck in the elf kingdom. Thank you. I'm finally back. Thanks to you, this force has been saved. The power of darkness is smothering the world. You are the ones chosen by the light. Please take this. Soon the power of darkness will attempt to block your path. This will be a... Windfang. 
I'm asleep until my body returns to its original form. No one may enter this forest for a thousand years. Shit. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh god, it's the... It is the giant bullshit. Okay. Okay, this is just back over where we were. Cool. And we have the triumphant music playing. You kick ass! Can I get anything else of use from you guys? Oh my god, my nose is so fucking runny and it really fucking sucks. Really fucking sucks. Oh, wait, I can go back to that castle now. There should be people there. Oh, what a nice welcome back party. We're getting Refia back on their fucking black mage grind here in a second. That's epic. No, flip back. Get out of here. Yeah, it's funny. So I came up with, uh, I mean, not the phrase. The phrase has existed, I'm sure, for something. But uh, I came up with a new derogatory term for supervisors. And um, it's mine. I'm... I'm using it, and it will forever be mine. No one's ever going to know who I am, and no one's ever going to use it like this, but it is most definitely going to be mine forever. And that is calling supervisors a bunch of 21s. That's what I'm calling them. They're 21s from now on. And that was because uh, I came up with that because on Saturday of last week, there was a fun day we had where... Uh, um, where we stand and sort boxes to be brought to their delivery trucks um, at our feet, because where we uh, where we're sorting, it's like on an elevated platform that's like maybe five and a half feet up. You know, it's just like six, seven stairs, just a quick little bloop. Um, and there's a slide by our feet that goes down to the actual ground floor. And that's where we'll throw anything that's been missorted to our area. Or any packages that might be, um, like the boxes are ripped open or torn or something's broken or whatever. You throw shit down on the underslide. And usually, throughout the day, you have people working on it, scanning the stuff that needs to be rescanned. Bringing stuff to be taped up to the table. Taping up themselves if it's simple enough. And, uh... Oops. And they left that shit. <coughs> we started at what? 
4.45 in the morning? Well, the warehouse started working at 4.30. It wasn't until like 7.55 that they had me go down on the underslide. It was like right before that. It was like 53, 54. Yeah, it was 54. Duh, that's where the name comes from. And down below on the underslide after three hours of nobody touching it, nobody keeping it clean. That's at least, if you're working by yourself, that's going to be about an hour of work. And they send me down there and me and one of the, I guess we could call her one of my work wives. Um, me and her had been joking around around like 7 o'clock, 7.15. I was like, hey, look down below. Ain't nobody been touching that shit all day. Not a, not a finger, not a hand has been lifted to it. How long do you think until they, get, they ask one of us to do it? Because me and her are the, always the ones that they ask to do that shit. One second, I'm going to blow my nose. better for like 30 seconds but they send me down there and at like you know 55 so like we were guessing like 7 30 they send one of us down which would have still been fucked but yeah no they didn't send me down there until like 7 55 well it was like 7 53 so by the time i go downstairs to look at the work area it is 7 54 and they said that they're going to be uh, what we call toting out the, toting off the belts, which is just that all of the stuff that's been missorted um, can't go be delivered back to the, the front of the warehouse at that point because it's getting late in the day. People aren't working there anymore. They're helping out other areas. They tell me that they're toting off in about 15 minutes. Or in, uh, at 8.15 is what they say. They said, 8.15, we're toting off. So, they w gave me 21 minutes to do an hour's worth of work. And that was a very terribly way to tell a story. But, yeah, uh, your supervisors, from now on, they're 21s. That's what you call them. You're a bunch of 21s. Always giving you 21 minutes to do an hour's worth of work. And at very least, the boss who told me to do it, she's really cool. So it's not like at any point she ever came by, though, and was like, Oh, uh, what the fuck is taking so long? <laughs> Which there will be some supervisors that will do. They might not, like, cuss, but they'll have that attitude. The land we stand on is a floating continent. Yeah, I noticed. The time gear, it was also called the perpetual engine. Knights guard those on low HP, I noticed. The rightmost of the four flames is a switch for a seeker. Yeah, I found that. Please have this. This is the time gear. It has been passed on. They say it was created by the ancients. Tink to the man named Sid who lives in Canaan. So wait, now that I have thieves. Oof. Oh, God damn it. The only one thing I gave him. The only thing he could wear. Alright. No, oh, this was not the one I needed. Other one. I recognize that effect too from... Final Fantasy 4 primarily. Now we're going to use that new... 
Boo. We're going to use that new advice to go unlock those doors that we were looking at that we couldn't open earlier. There was nothing down here, right? No. I feel like I combed through and found every secret in this place because I thought this was going to be relevant much earlier. Not just, oh, hey, this is where you get a story item from the king later. Da da da. Okay. His sprite is kind of cool, kind of goofy, but it's also kind of cool. It's like Link, but he's a buffer. And it seems to be he also has a mustache. Okay, so we got two elixirs. Was the elixir helpful? Oh, I'm sure it will be. Killer bow, bolt, medusa. See, because it's my first time, I'm sure the thief would act, the bow and arrows would actually be good. Flame, ice, light. What on earth is all this? I'll have to look up what these are. Um, okay, something worth dropping. In the trash. Okay, but can I have you wear that though? See, huh? No, you can't do it while actually walking. Oh, it'll stop you. I mean, that's useless information, but I like it nonetheless. Yeah, after this, me and my son are going to go to the store, go buy dinner for the night. Wants me to make just like noodles and Alfredo sauce. And then uh, a thing I like to do is, you know, at um, one of the local grocery stores in our area. Oops. One of the local grocery stores in our area sells grilled chicken that's really fucking good. And honestly, with the kind of spices that they got on that chicken, I just shred up the fucking meat and just add that into the sauce. Ugh. Alright, um... Oh, we're back feeling good. 
hold on, his, uh, his MP didn't go up because he was in a class that didn't have MP. Lame. It's fine, we shall use your free mystic fountain. Oh my god. I feel like I want to pull off my face. You know, it's funny, today at UPS, uh, they had me working somewhere. Towards the end of the day, just trying to help people out, you know, just doing end-of-the-day work. And there was a, um, Sid was over here, right? I don't even remember where I brought Sid to after I used him that one time. Yeah, they had me helping somewhere, and they, uh, I was only there for like five minutes, and then they're like, okay, uh, you need to actually go to this other work area, <coughs> and go load some delivery trucks, because, um, just had, uh, just had an employee walk out on us. Which is, you know, nope. <coughs> Jesus. UPS has earned that kind of behavior from employees, so I'm not going to lie. If only you had the time here. If only you had the item that you just so happen to now have. At this time here, I can rebuild the Enterprise into an airship. Just lend me that box. The Master to Builder. Did you say it only could land in the sea? An airship that only lands in the sea. Interesting. I remember when I started, these guys looked big enough and scary enough that I was like, are these new enemies, like, beginning of the game enemies? And they were. Damn. <coughs> See, 
see, I can only land. Cannot go over the mountains, though. So the place is primarily going to be Whoa! Yo! Okay, so is there anything other than... The Grand New Adventure. Whoa. Okay, we're just going to go straight down. Eventually, we'll have to loop back. Do the same thing. Does something happen? I have no idea. But that is going to be it for the day, guys. Um, both did a lot and did a little. Beat a boss. That's what's important. But, uh, yeah, it seems like we got some exploring to do. So next time we uh, sail this new ocean and try to see what the fuck's going on here. Because uh, it seems pretty empty. So we'll see what's up. So till then, y'all. Peace, and don't let those 21s bother you.